Hello Scorpio, welcome back. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Uh, we're going to dive on in and see what's coming through for you and uh, in love in the upcoming days and week. These reads are for entertainment purposes only, so take what speaks for you Scorpio and leave what doesn't apply. Should you enjoy this reading, of course, feel free to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It is absolutely free to do so. Don't forget to leave behind your comments if you enjoyed this reading. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, if you do that, then you will be supporting the growth of the channel. But more importantly, um, you will be notified of every time I release a new video here on the channel. For those of you who would like to work with me, all those details will be in the show more section below. As you can see, Scorpio, I've already laid out the cards. We are going to unpack these cards in a moment together. But before we do, I just want to remind you that towards the very end of this reading, we will be drawing extra messages concerning your special person or the person that you're thinking of right now and how they are feeling towards you and or the current situation. Okay, so Scorpio, um, to kickstart your read, we're going to look at the bottom of the deck, which is the tower. And it has come out in the reverse. So, uh, so this is the overarching energy. This is what's influencing um, you, your love life uh, in the upcoming days and week. And what I feel here with the tower in reverse is someone is slowly making some changes, okay? You're shifting, Scorpio, or someone is shifting internally here. When the tower is in reverse, there's a shift taking place and it's happening within you. It's happening inside of someone here. You may be, your feelings may be changing, um, you know, like maybe someone that you cared about here, you're starting to feel like, oh, I'm, I'm not really, I don't really care about them as much anymore. It's like someone's feelings are changing, but it's happening. Inter These are internal changes, right? Um, it could be with the four of wands here, someone that you lived with or someone that you thought um, you could see yourself having maybe a future with or something solid with here. So we'll see how that um, ties in with the rest of the read. You've got the Three of Cups, you've got the Six of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. The signs of the person you could be dealing with here with the Queen of Pentacles, it could be Strong Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? It doesn't really matter, but for some of you, you may um, that may be confirmation, right? Uh, so to begin your read, you've got the Three of Cups here, okay? I really like this because this speaks of good times, fun times. Uh, it could speak to a reunion for some of you. There is someone here with the Six of Wands in reverse that may want to reunite with you, uh, Scorpio, okay? This could have felt um, unsuccessful. It may be something that just didn't work out in the past. This person felt like, you know, they let things slide and they want to sort of come back around because the horse is facing the three of cups. This person wants to come back around and reunite with you, maybe to have something casual here with you or just to, yeah, share some fun times, good times with you here. The thing is with the three of cups is your you're having fun regardless of whether you're with this person or not. You're still, you're doing you, boo. You're doing you. You're going out there. You're having a good time. You're mingling with your girlfriends. You're getting social. And this person is watching you. They're seeing you. Okay. I feel like with the tower in reverse, you're no longer waiting for this person. You're going out and you're with the nine of cups making your own happiness. Okay, you're not waiting for this happiness to come to you. You're, you're making it happen. I'm also seeing here too that this person wants you. This person wants you. Okay, it's like that all of a sudden they see you happy and they want some of that. With the Five of Swords in reverse, there is an internal struggle going on. And I actually feel like this internal struggle um, is coming from your person. 
there is conflict here. It's internal conflict. This person doesn't know what to do, okay? I feel like you've turned your back on this person. Clearly, there may have been a, an argument that broke out here in the recent past. This person is feeling conflicted and they don't know what to do. You're coming through with the Queen of Pentacles, very strong, solid, stable. Um, you're very grounded here, Scorpio. I also feel like you're also um, successful in your own right here. Um, you're feeling comfortable with who you are. You're feeling comfortable with where you're at. I, I like this energy from the Queen of Pentacles. I just feel like this is someone who has it all going on for themselves. And with the Four of Cups here, you're not interested in what this person has to offer. Okay, look. There's a hand from spirit coming out, offering you this cup. You're crossing your arms and legs here. You're like, eh, eh, I'm not interested in what you have to offer. I'm not interested in your crumb. Okay, I'm not interested in your crumb. So I feel like, yeah, you're, you're giving this person essentially the cold shoulder, I feel. Why? Because... This week, your feelings are changing, okay? There's a shift taking place internally within you and you're realizing maybe you no longer care for this person um, or you're not waiting for them. Yeah, it's like you're just, you're waking up to the realization that you just don't care and that you're detaching and you're just going to go out and have a good time. You've got some amazing people in your environment that support you, that have your back, Scorpio, and that's all that matters, right? These are the people that lift you up. These are your crew. These are your friends. These are your family. So let's take a look at this person's energy and see what else it is that you need to know when it comes to them. You probably don't want to know anymore <laughs> at this point, especially if your feelings are changing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. They're coming through as the panther. The upward pointing triangle does represent fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius you could be dealing with here, but boy, oh, boy. The the blood is boiling within this person, right? Um, I see aggression here and it's triggered from jealousy, envy. Um, I feel like this person has a few things to say, but it could be that they're holding back, right? We've got the peacock coming through as well in their energy. The upward pointing triangle with the line through it does represent air. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like with the peacock, this person thinks that their S-H-I-T don't stink. They do. I'm getting someone who's very cocky here. Okay. This is someone who's very cocky. Um, mm, they're a bit of a show off. I'm getting egotistical. I also feel like there's something very striking or very good looking about this person, very beautiful about this person. There is an inner beauty, uh, like not an inner beauty. I feel like this person outwardly is quite attractive, but their internal self is unattractive. Let's take a look and see um, how this person is feeling towards you because I'm seeing like jealous and trigger triggered here, angry. <laughs> We've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. This person feels, I want to say shitty. Yeah, this person is so shitty right now. I, 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 they're, they're moody as hell. Um, very, very jealous, very, very sensitive. They're taking things personally. They're looking at you going out, having a good time, and they just really got their being their bonnet about it. Interesting. Um, they're coming through as the King of Pentacles. Mm, 
So emotionally speaking, this person feels shitty towards you, but they do feel here with the King of Pentacles that they did have a very comfortable lifestyle here with you, Scorpio. The King of Pentacles, he's sitting pretty. He's sitting very comfortably there. And this person knows that they had it easy or they had it very comfortable here with you. Okay, maybe they want that. Maybe they're returning because they want that back. If you're separated from this person, they want that kind of a lifestyle back. Let's see how else they're feeling here. Uh, I feel like taking this one. Oh, Nine of Cups. Interesting because the Nine of Cups has come out twice here for you. So you're making your own happiness here. This person feels like they need to do things to make you happy. Okay, ultimately, um, ultimately, maybe this person failed at trying to make you happy. And it could be with the tower here, they're, they're realizing that. They're realizing that. Um, in order to maybe have you back or, or win your heart back here, they need to do things that are going to make you happy. Um, I'm hearing happy wife, happy life, you know, something along those lines. So what, they're only starting to realise that now? Hmm. So that's your reading, guys. That's all I have for you, Scorpio. I do hope this spoke to you. Uh, if it did, don't forget to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. But until next time, Scorpio, take care. Ciao, ciao.